Hey cheerleads, it's Tiffany and welcome back to another one of my videos. So I'm sorry I haven't made like a normal-ish video in a while. I've been really busy with competitions and cheer. So yeah, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys stretches to get your needle and other stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm a little sick right now, so I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit icky, but um, so I'm going to start off by saying that your back can either be naturally flexible or naturally very stiff. So you can hold all these stretches as long as you want, but don't go too far. Also, um, your shoulders play a big role in being able to do a needle. So if you have naturally not flexible shoulders, kind of like myself, you have to stretch that a lot more than you have to stretch your actual leg because without having flexible arms, you're not gonna get anywhere with pulling your stretch. So without even more further ado, let's get on to the actual stretching. Okay, the first stretch you're gonna wanna do is just hold a bridge. And if you can do a bridge easily, then straighten out your back like I will do. So basically, if it's really hurting and you get kinda lightheaded when you do it, only do one set of 30 seconds. But if you can stand that pretty well, then do a couple sets, like two or three, um, to really stretch out your back and just kinda like prepare it and get it more flexible. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so the next stretch that you are going to do is you're going to go into a seal stretch and you're just going to like put your head back to your feet as much as you can and hold that for about a minute but if you get lightheaded like I do, um, go for 30 seconds and then stop, take a little break and then do 30 seconds more so you can stretch out your back and get it prepared. I, I Okay, so the next stretch. So basically, um, pick your leg that you're gonna pull your needle with. This is my needle leg, so I'm going to be putting it behind me. This is the leg I don't use. So basically, you're gonna like angle it like that on the ground. And then when you're like that, you're going to lean your head back and push on your back so that you can stretch out your back. And if you can, try to reach up and like grab your foot, but I personally can't do that, but you can try if you want to. I can't do it, but I can still pull a needle. Not a requirement. Also, um, hold that for one minute or 30 seconds, two sets. Okay, now that our backs are all stretched out, we need to stretch out our shoulders and arms so that we can pull the stretch. So basically get like a couch or a bed or something that you can like stably put your arms on. Hold on. And what you're gonna do is put your arms on the bed. Um, I usually do it around my wrists. And then keep your back very like arched, not arched, um, hollow. Cause if you arch your back like that, um, then you're gonna pull the stretch like that and it makes it harder for yourself. So yeah, put your hands like this and just lean down with a hollow back for about a minute or 30 seconds, depending on how flexible your shoulders are. And this will help you pull the stretch a lot more easily. So now that we are all stretched out, it's time to actually pull the needle. So there are a couple different ways you can do this based on how flexible your shoulders are. I don't have flexible shoulders, so I'm going to show you the way I pull it, and then I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can pull it. So the way I have to do it is I grab my foot like this, just on the edge, swing it over and pull it. Um, another way you can do it if you have more flexible wrists, I don't really know, you can take your foot like this and pull it over or if you're super talented not like me because I can't do this you can kick to your needle I will try to do it I will try to do this just to kind of like try to show you but it's not gonna be good so let's try to do it I can't do that 
Um, or you can fake pull it, which is probably the easiest, to be honest. So basically, you're just going to kick it kind of to the side to a point where you can grab it and pull it over. So basically how you do that is you kick it, pull it. I did not get the right grips. That's okay. Okay, so I am going to show you why you need flexible shoulders for this. Um, so basically, if you follow all these stretches, you can get a perfect needle. But here's the thing. If you don't stretch your shoulders and you can't grab lower on your leg, you're not going to get that perfect needle because it's too hard to grab. So basically what I'm talking about is if you grab it, pull it, now it's time to pull it, you just can't do a perfect needle. It's just not possible because your arms, it just doesn't work. Maybe you can do this. Maybe you're talented. I'm not. I can't do it. Even if I like look up. You just can't do it. It's just not possible. At least it isn't for me. So, I'm like out of breath. <coughs> so basically, you need flexible shoulders so that you can pull it like this and then grab here. <laughs> Ideally, you want to grab close to your knee. Um, I'm still not there. My shoulders are still not flexible enough. Um, let's see. So put it like this, grab like this, just like that. So if you want to be able to get a hyperextended um, needle, you're going to need to have flexible shoulders. If you want to get a good needle, you're going to need flexible shoulders. If you want a kicked needle, you're going to need flexible shoulders. All it really does come down to your shoulders. You need to be able to have flexible shoulders to be able to grab it. So yeah. It's kind of slow just because I need to like grab lower and since my shoulders aren't flexible, I can't do that very quickly. So I will show you what my needle looks like now and if you do all these stretches, you can get probably an even better needle than mine. So this is what I'm working with right now. Okay, um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I hope that these stretches helped you even just a little bit. I'm not the best at explaining things to people. So I hope you guys can use this to help you get your needles. Um, maybe in the future I'll make a better video. Um, yeah, I'm very bad at explaining things. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I will see you all next time. Bye.